What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be installing the Mercury Vessel View onto my 2020 Mercury Pro XS 115. This should be a pretty straightforward install, so let's get to it. So the first thing we have to do is pop the cowling off. The next thing we need to do is find the terminating resistor for the CAN bus system, and that's marked by a yellow or red connector on the end. And it's luckily it's just hanging down right here on mine. Go ahead and pop this cover off so we can see it a little bit better. So this is what we're working with, and I'm going to pinch on this and hopefully pop it right out like that. So you'll notice on your harness here, there's a cap on one and then an open plug on the other. What we're going to do is plug in the open plug where we just unplugged that. And then we're going to take off this weather cap here and put my yellow terminating cap right back on it. And that's really the installation. That's pretty much it. Uh, from here, we're going to bundle it up, make sure it's nice and tidy in here and then we'll move on to the phone app. We want to make sure that that cover that we just took off uh, fully fits back in here without any problems. So we're, let's see if we can find a good spot for it. I don't want it to interfere with the cowl installation or anything like that. So let's go ahead and pop this back on, see how much real estate we have to play with. It almost just floated around in here. I kind of like this spot right here. If everything will work, I think we're going to go for that. That'll help us uh, keep it from being too buried and help the Bluetooth signal get to my phone. Let's run our zip ties. Came with a couple. Okay. I'll leave it a little bit loose for now. Get this cover back on. All right, with some finagling, got the cover back on there. Kind of have this hanging out on the outside. There we go. Let's clip our zip ties, put the cowl back on, and then we'll move on to the app. The next thing we need to do is download the Mercury Vessel View app. Uh, on the iPhone, I just searched Mercury Vessel View. And it popped right up. Make sure you enable Bluetooth so you can talk to your module. We're going to agree to all the things. We're going to allow our location while using the app. We're going to allow it to send us notifications, and then let's go ahead and sign up for a Mercury account. So we got our login created, and now it says we need to connect our module, which we've already done. And then we are going to connect to it. So we are going to turn the key on and hit connect. It says searching for available devices. Okay, please tap on a module to connect. I'm going to click on that one right there. Boat name. I don't have a name for this boat yet. Uh, we're just going to call it TX190 because that's what it is. It holds 21 and a half gallons with one engine. So put in your boat name and your fuel capacity. Connecting to module. It's thinking about it. Preferred dealer. You've not selected a preferred dealer. Not right now. Looks like we're in and we are up and running and that is the intent of today's video. Uh, I'm going to mess with this and really some of the key information that I'm looking for here is going to be fuel consumption. Uh, interested in that. I'm interested in an accurate tachometer so when I start tuning for uh, the when I start tuning the prop I'll have an accurate tachometer and speed and also of course keeping track of maintenance as well as uh, understanding what fault codes might be on it. Since I am still under warranty if there's a fault code that I may not know about I'd like to get that looked at. Uh, and be aware of what's already on there. So with that, appreciate you following along. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe and consider watching this next video. See you next time.